Alright, we're doing Sawyer and Hobby's adventures with a science experiment today. Sawyer wants to do some science. And this is an old grade school slash high school science thing. I don't remember how it works or exactly why it works, which is the true nature of science, trying to understand why things happen. But in a few minutes, we are going to put some vinegar in with some baking soda. Put it down there, please, so I can do not dump this in until I say to. Okay. Hold my phone. No, I'm not ready. Not till I say. I'm putting this in there. Follow the camera. What we're doing here? Some baking soda. Some vinegar. And what we're going to do to make this more fun is we're going to put this in here and put a lid on it. And Sawyer's going to stand back by the door behind us and video this thing while I put the lid on. This is going to happen fairly quickly, I believe. Okay, are we watching? Go back by the door. I don't want to pull it in. You'll see why. Okay? Okay. Putting the lid on, I think, should make this more exciting. And we'll see what happens here in a minute. And you mix the two. You get hydrogen. Okay, you can film it. It's not giving off as much as I thought. It's on there. Look at that. Bubbles and gives off a hydrogen gas. Oh, you feel like getting kind of tense. Not going exactly the way I remembered. See how that feels tight? Got some bubbling going on here. Maybe more vinegar in there would help. There you go. What's happening, buddy, is this is giving off a hydrogen gas. Stinks, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe if I had a smaller container. That's really not giving off that much. Oh. Hold on, put that on pause. Here we go. Put the lid back on. And there you go. There's some science for you. Now, this is our science thing for today, buddy. What do you think? Okay, now. Nobody should do these things without their hobby. Hey, I Shake it up. It hat eaten. It's got one more left in it. Look at that lid making a dome. Shake it. Put the lid dome back off. I don't think we got enough reaction left in there. Okay. Okay, that's good. I can 
see how tight that is. Now the other thing about this <clears throat> is we don't go randomly mixing chemicals in the kitchen because some of them do explode. Do explode. And fire in the face. And some of them become acidic. And as they become acidic, they will burn your skin off. That's why we can't really mess with chemicals all by ourselves. We have to know what we're doing. That is my warning for anybody that thinks we're doing this willy-nilly. But this is a fun little experiment. You're fine. This is a fun little experiment to do. It was kind of back to the grade school, making the home volcano things, which was fun. Um, anyway, that's our science experiment for today. Remember, be safe. I'm going to do I'll be right out, I'm fine. Be safe. Be attentive. Be alert. Don't just mix chemicals at home all alone by yourself because we want you safe. So anyway, thanks for watching some Sawyer's and Abby's adventures on our Father's Day explosion. Thank you much. Has it got one left in it? It's Maybe. Uh, uh. Nah, I don't think there's enough chemical reaction in there. But it, it is. Okay, no more soy. Sawyer. Sawyer. Looks like it wants to, but it's just not going to happen. Anyway, people, have fun. Next time we're going to show you Sawyer and Abby's farm slash garden. Oh, we have a tractor driving adventure too coming up here. Anyway, thank you much. Talk to y'all later. Give us a like, give us a share, hit that bell. Haven't been doing much lately, but we're going to try and do some more again.